Hi, this is JC with Beyond 20. Today we're going to take just a look at a couple of tricks for uh, using the filter navigator. Um, just for navigation purposes. We've talked about some of this in previous videos, but I just wanted to spend uh, a couple minutes here to, to talk about it here. Um, so the first thing that I want to show you here is, let me go to incidents, and once again, another thing that we've talked about, but if we look at the URL, we can actually find the table name itself. Um, so for incidents, for example, the table name is going to be incident. And if we wanted to go to see all incidents, one of the things that we could do here is type incident.list. So if we know the table name, we can go directly to that table. Very similarly, if I wanted to open it in a new tab, for instance, if I type list in all capital without misspelling it, it opens up in a new tab for me. Now, if I want to create a new record, so in this case, once again, we'll use that of incident. If I type incident.do, it will automatically generate a new record. So as long as you know the table name, uh, if you want to create records or view the list view very quickly, uh, instead of having to find the, applica find the application in the application menu, you can just use those commands. So let's take a quick look at change request here. Um, change all. So once again, looking at that URL, we see that the table name is change underscore request. So if I wanted to create a new change, I could type change underscore request dot do. And here we see a new change record has automatically been created. Now, there is another one that does exactly the same as .do, and that's going to be .form. So let me go first to the list view, and then change request .form. So you can see this has also created a new record. So once again, the items that we took a look at uh, dot list, all in lowercase, will bring you the list of whatever table you're in. Dot list in uppercase will bring you the list of whatever table you're looking for uh, in a new tab. And then the final two, the table name dot do and the table name dot form will open a new record in that table. So I hope you found that helpful. Uh, just like I said, some quick tips and tricks as you're learning about ServiceNow, uh, something you may not know right out of the gate, um, but is very helpful when you're uh, in it all the time. Thanks, and have a great day.